Howdy folks, this is Mike from Fly All Season and you are watching little late fall action, cold finger day. Beautiful brown trout that I stick with. I don't know what it is about North Bear Creek, but we are just absolutely dialed in on the stock of rainbows, man. Now that's a good thing because right now it's gonna be late season spawn for the brown trout, so we wanna leave those guys alone, but hammering these stocker boys is no problem at all. So good to see and we'll let him be. Bye-bye. So sick. Oh wow, could that be? That might be our first brown of the day, man. Nice fish too, Fuck yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's sweet. That was a great shot too, because I zoomed in and as soon as I zoomed in, you can see him, you can see him hit it. No! No way, that's so sick. And I got that all on GoPro too. I think, yeah. 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 That was that was a good shot. Shoot, yeah. Right as I say, we're about to leave. And right as I say, we're not targeting browns. We just probably got on the best fishy boy of the day. A beautiful brown trout. And you can tell he's a he's a post spawner for sure. He's super skinny, but man, look at that. That does not get much more driftless. A nice buttery brown trout on a scud. That's so sweet. That is a drippy, golden, post-spawn, bad boy brown. I love it. And we'll see him back. Woo, just like that. No problems at all. Sweet. That is exactly what we're after. Well, not exactly, but I'm very happy we got that. <laughs> The rains have just moved in, folks, and I forgot all my rain gear for my camera, so I'm lucky I've got a plastic bag. I'm gonna put that over you guys, and fingers crossed you don't get too wet. <laughs> keep, keep taking some steps up and really try and target like where that log is, where that log jam's coming in. Take like three or four really solid steps, because you fish that, where you just cast it in front of you, like you fish that pretty good. So right at the, oh man. He's blogging you. Yeah, dude, way to go. Nope, 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 nope. I have to keep him like towards kind of like the back of my net. <laughs> so he doesn't flop through. Yeah. Just out of that nice Ooh. run. Heck yeah, and we still got a little bit more to work, so Hell hopefully yeah, we can brother. pull a couple more out. I'm thinking so. It's a pretty sick shot. With the haze and everything. Yeah. Sick, man. Yeah, we'll let him go. Show ya. Hey, bruv. That was sick. Hell yeah, brother. Good stuff. Wow. Let's get some more. Yo. What the f did you see that? Yeah, I got it on camera too. What? Are they, are they rising over there? Are they rising? That's what I'm for. Seriously, I'm, 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 I'm half tempted to put something on and smack them. Because they're, yeah, they're starting to come up. See that? See that? Yeah. Damn, dude. Damn, okay. Yeah, I'm doing it. Behind us is a really active pod of rising fish. And it looks like they might be midging, so. Ah. Yes, midging. <laughs> the dry fly methadone for those wintertime blues. Nothing better. While those little caddis are tucked away oh so tight in their cases and the mayflies are clinging desperately to their rocky fortresses, the winter air can seem pretty devoid of life. Now, other than the occasional crow and gusts of wind, there's not a whole lot happening. And if you fancy yourself a dry fly angler, it's really easy to slip into a deep, dark depression fueled by IPAs and the, the dream of spring. 
But if you are also oh lucky enough to be on the water when the air temps give way to a little, little glimmer of, of warmer times to come, you can find yourself sitting in a shimmering cloud of wings and an amazing midge hatch happening. And that's one of the main hatches that you'll find this time of year, you know, winter months, so to speak. And to give a better look at what I mean when I say midging, we need to take a better look, a little more in-depth look at the life cycle of this little bug. So let's take a look at that real quick. Now I am by no means an expert entomologist, so really, you should probably just shut this video off right now and go find some real information because I'm just some dude on the internet. <laughs> but on a real note, this uh, the, the name midge is in like a lot of fly fishing terms, it, it's kind of just a blanket term to cover a really an untold number of species of midge flies. And the good news for us as anglers is that most of these midges will follow a fairly similar life cycle of sorts. You know, you'll have your larval stage moving into the emerging stage when they're you know beginning to hatch, and then when they're done hatching, they'll go into their full-fledged fly stage. Now, when I say midging, that is really referring to the emerging stage. Because what'll happen is when these little when these little worms, I guess, that's kind of what the, the pupa looks like, and the, the, the air temp's right, the water temp's just right, what they'll do is they'll blow a little air bubble. And that air bubble will propel them all the way to within probably like an inch of the water surface, and that's where they'll hatch into their fly stage. And what's cool about that is it creates such a signature take from your rising trout because they're really not coming all the way out of the surface most of the time. What they'll be doing is they'll be taking that fly just within that very small space between the water surface and, and where they're hatching and it'll create, like I said, a signature, signature rise. Whereas, you know, if you're hitting a caddis or you're hitting a stonefly hopper, it can be this violent, nasty, just boom, or, you know, with a little tiny mayfly, they're just barely dimpling the surface, you just see a little nose. But with midging, at least in my experience, you'll see a little dimple on the water surface. You might see a little back breaking the surface, porpoising of sorts. And if it's a really big fish, man, that sucker's tail will whop, 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 back down into the depths. And we saw that today with some of this footage. It was really, really neat. So I, I hope y'all didn't mind a little change of pace, a little, little break in the action here. When I'm out on the water, I can kind of be all gas, no brakes, and I'm not really doing the best job of explaining what I'm seeing or how I'm approaching it. So hopefully this helped clear it up uh, the term midging and how I would approach it and maybe what you'll see here in the drift list. But for those of you who are just the OG subs, the day one folks, thank you so much as always for sticking around and watching these videos. And for those of you who haven't subbed yet, I appreciate the view. Let's get back to the action. Looks like they might be midging, so I just put on probably my smallest dry fly that I own. <laughs> and I'm gonna try and throw that and see if I can't trick a few. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we can get into a late fall dry fly bite. That'd be so sick. There you go. Keep on the pod. That's a good fish. That's a great brown. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I messed up. Is that a one? No, that's a brown. Nice fish, man. Let's go. Look at the way that brown trout took it. I mean, does it get any better than that? Y'all, that is a post-spawn beauty. You can tell he is so snaky skinny. It's like a water snake. Let's see if that'll pop out for me. Oh, just like that. Just absolutely gorgeous, y'all. That is exactly what you want to see. Let's see if we can do a cheeky, cheeky boy on him. Oh, that is the most cheeky. All right, time to let this bad boy go. Yep. I hope y'all can see this crazy action, but they're going up left, right, center. This is a really, really active run, and I think they're midging. So Kowalski's on the rod, working on his dry fly game, and hopefully we can get into some. 
That was a great pass. Nice! That was f***ing sick. Nice, dude. Nice. That is sick. Dude, he came up in a hand. Yeah, he that. smashed it. Kowalski, first try fly by of the day. How's that feel? Ooh, feels good. Feels good. We're having a good day, too. This is a pretty dang good day. We've got a lot of fish. Get a little bit hazy. Rain's starting to come back out. I got the... It's, we filming? The, we are filming. It's got the rain cover on. It's getting a little bit hazy out here, but that is an awesome, awesome little rainbow, my man. Ooh. On the dry. That's about that's about as good as it gets. Yeah. Sacrifice these hands for the gram. Hands for the gram. Oops. Oh, not, no. Fuck boy. Quit it. You done now? Quit it, fuck boy. Have you had enough? That is a that is an excellent little dry fly fish, my man. He really rolled it too. He smoked it, man. That was sick. Yeah, hold him up and towards me. Yo, that's the shot, my man. That's sick. Very nice, Kowalski. Ready to let him go? Yeah, let's let him go. Do it. Whew. Elliot, brother. Man. Oh, my hands is frozen now. Frozy boy. Frozy boy. Frozy boy. All right, my turn. Yes, it's your turn. Why, why are not not eating that? I don't come for me. Oh, 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 did you see that big boy? Yeah. There's a big boy over there. Moss is gonna ruin your drift. That was a good cast. Nice! That's a nice one, too. Nice, dude. That's a very nice That's one. That's a nice bow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cold hands and all, I don't mind for this one, man. That is a beautiful holdover rainbow that just smashed that major merger. That was fantastic, y'all. That is exactly what you want to see. Yes, sir. Ready to let him go? Yep. Cool. That fish is back. That was so freaking awesome. But just want to give a little shout out just met a subscriber on the stream. You know who you are. Thank you so much for your support. It really means a lot. And yeah, man, I'm glad glad you came by, stopped and said hi, and yeah, that just made my day. That's so freaking cool. So I think Kowalski and I are gonna pack her on up, move up North Bear a little bit more, and keep on hammering them, man. <laughs> Too fun, Kowalski. Shit. Mike! I'm sorry. Hook oh. the fish. Dude, that's sick. Oh yeah, buddy. Way to go, my man. Whew. Let's let this puppy go. Hey, where are you going? But still a nice size. Good fight. And we're not even done working the spot yet, so let's see that's if we so can get sick. some more. 